I knew there was something wrong with all of this Occupy Wall Street movement. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to share with all of you, this is very important so I need all of you to pay close attention to this and please share this message with everyone so that everybody will know exactly what's going on and they will pass this message around. You see ladies and gentlemen, as a result of this Occupy Wall Street movement that is fast sweeping across the globe today, the Vatican has officially stepped in and has declared that the world needs a global economic authority. On CNBC News it declared that the Vatican called for a global central world bank. Did you just hear what I just said ladies and gentlemen? The Vatican has declared that the world needs a global central world bank. Let me simplify all of this for all of you by taking you to Fox News. The headlines read the following. It states the Vatican calls for a new world economic order. Now as far as when was this said exactly, this was declared on October 24th of 2011. So ladies and gentlemen, the question I have for all of you is this. How far are we away from seeing a new economic world order? We are not too far away from that. How far are we away from seeing now the work of the mark of the beast? We are not too far away from all of these things. We are not too far away from seeing a global worldwide crisis. The last movement of Satan is just around the corner ladies and gentlemen. Now let me just read to all of you a few of these articles to give you an idea of what exactly is happening and why exactly is the Vatican intervening at this time and why are they coming up with the solution that the world needs a global political authority. Listen to these few articles. The Vatican called on Monday for the establishment of a global public authority and a central world bank to rule over financial institutions that have become outdated and often ineffective in dealing fairly with crisis. The document from the Vatican's Justice and Peace Department should please the Occupy Wall Street demonstrators and similar movements around the world who have protested against the economic downturn. Skipping down a few lines it reads the following. The economic and financial crisis which the world is going through calls everyone, individuals and people to examine in depth the principles and the cultural and moral values at the basis of social coexistence, it said. Skipping some more few lines, here's what I want all of you to pay attention to. Listen to the following. In fact, the crisis has revealed behaviors like selfishness, collective greed and hoarding of goods on a great scale, it said. Adding that world economics needed an ethic of solidarity among rich and poor nations. Now, I want all of you to make note that I only just read to you one article. So, there's many articles from different news organizations across America and across the world in general. All of you can go and find them. I will post some of the links down below the video description. You will be able to follow the links there and go and look at the sites for yourself. Read it for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. I only just read to you a key point that I want all of you to understand. That the Vatican has officially stepped in because of the Occupy Wall Street movement which began in New York City and now is fast sweeping across the globe. I had a small feeling before and now this feeling is telling me I was right because I knew there was something wrong with this Occupy Wall Street movement that began. There is an old saying and it's still being used up until today. It states the following, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. And that is exactly what I am telling those people who are demonstrating and are protesting against their leaders declaring that they want a change in our economic structure. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. You see ladies and gentlemen, at this point you can choose to believe what you want but me, I am a big time skeptic. I do not believe in anything anyhow until I see strong evidence for anything. You see this whole movement of Occupy Wall Street, I had a strong feeling from the beginning that there was something behind it. As far as what exactly is it, I do not know. 
But I have an idea, I have a feeling that all of this movement, it was purposely done so that it will result in the economy collapsing. And upon the collapse of the economy, people are going to be panicking, people are going to go and scream at their leaders demanding for change, that they want a new economic structure to be brought forth. But as always, little do people know that their leaders already have a new economic structure waiting for them. The only thing is, when is the right time to implement this new economic structure? The best time to bring forth all of these new changes is only when there is a crisis. Why? Because when there is a crisis, people are going to demand for change. They are going to demand for action. You cannot have a change in history unless there is a crisis. And guess what? This statement directly falls and supports the Hegelian dialectic, which states that in history you must always have two opposing forces, one being the thesis, the other being the antithesis or the antithesis. The thesis is in conflict with the antithesis and the result gives you a solution. It is simplified as the following. You have a problem, reaction and solution. Ladies and gentlemen, I have already spoken about this. I am not going to repeat myself again. I spoke of the Hegelian dialectic in my other videos already of the New World Order. So go and browse through my channel. You will find the information there. This proposed new economic world order that the Vatican is calling for Get ready for something great to happen in the world of the economics before they introduce this new global economic authority. Something great must happen first before they introduce this new policy. I even highly doubt if the world's economies will continue as they are even for two years, for two or even three more years. I doubt it. But if it does go, then hey, we are still okay for now. Also, let me bring this to all of your attention. Did you know that there's people who are beginning to withdraw their money away from their banks? Did you know that as a result of this Occupy Wall Street movement, there's people who are beginning to stand their ground by saying they are not going to be paying their bills? Did you know that people are beginning to withdraw all of their money and they want nothing to do with the banks anymore? Uh, thousands, as I mentioned, uh, in the park where I'm standing. There were hundreds that went to Chase Bank earlier in the day to withdraw uh, their money and close their accounts. Uh, hundreds, if not a thousand, have gathered. The Occupy Wall Street movement began in New York, quickly spreading across the U.S. to Los Angeles, Denver and Washington, among others. It's since gone global, with Asia joining in the demands for change. In Europe, too, hundreds of cities are taking part in the protests. Do you have any idea what this is going to lead to ladies and gentlemen? That's right, this is going to lead to a great collapse because the banks are going to be empty and when the banks go empty, guess what goes down with it? The stocks are going to go skyrocketing downwards into the black hole. Ladies and gentlemen, these things should not surprise you because there are signs everywhere that are foretelling us of things that are going to happen. There's signs everywhere that's letting us know something great is about to happen. Everybody knows that something great is about to happen in our world. Our world is heading towards a great time of trouble. There's signs pointing in each direction. Today, many of us should be able to know that the US dollar is already worthless. It's worth nothing today. The United States of America is no longer on the gold standard. We already know this. If you want to know the value of the dollar, go to your washrooms. Go to your washrooms and pick up your toilet paper roll. That is exactly its worth. Keep in mind that we are just nearing the darkest hour. Something great is about to happen and the dark night is fast approaching. Before I close this video, let me point something out for all of you. It's interesting to note that there are many people who claim to be awake. There are those people who say that they are awake and they are even taking the stand of exposing government secrets, new world order, secret societies, etc, etc. They are taking the stand of exposing these things and they claim to be awake. But the question is, what is their definition of being awake? You see, their definitions of being awake is knowing what's going on in our world today. But the interesting thing is this, you ask them, do you believe in Jesus Christ? The majority of them will denounce it right away and they will say, no, we do not believe these things. Rather, they will say, that religion is just a tool for the globalists. But can you really be awake without having God in your life? Ladies and gentlemen, you put yourself in a grave danger by denouncing Christ Jesus from your life because you cannot be awake 
without Jesus in your life? The reason is, is because knowledge is not what will save you, but it's Jesus who's the one that saves you. Just keep that in your minds, ladies and gentlemen. Now let me wrap up this video by saying the following. If you like the information I shared with you, give it a thumbs up, feel free to comment and share this information with others. However, if you don't like this information because you just don't care about these things, then hey, all I can tell you is this. You can always go cast your vote on America's Next Top Model because that show will still be there on television tonight. I bet you don't want to miss who the next top model is going to be. Subscribe now ladies and gentlemen and stay tuned. This is The Controversy 7.